Hi, this is Greg McCoach with The Mining Speculator. Today we're at the Metals Investor Forum in Vancouver, Canada. And today I am interviewing Peter Dazzler, CEO, President of Canalaska Uranium. Peter, welcome to the interview. <laughs> Thanks very much, Greg. It's, uh, it's been a good couple of days here. So. Yeah, we've had a lot of excitement and uh, you know, you can just see that the money's gonna start to flow our way again after a, a tough patch, not just in our overall sector, but for uranium in particular. I, I'm very bullish on the uranium situation. Yeah. Uh, we, we're not only seeing the, the Chinese doing the build out, we're seeing the Indians doing the build out. Um, we're seeing um, a number of people saying we can't continue to burn coal or right. gas uh, for the, the problems with the CO2 emissions. Right. And so the, the clean alternative is nuclear. I Absolutely. fully believe in that, and that's why I'm an exploration looking for more uranium. Yeah, and as a newsletter writer, I, have a, I write a, the U308 report. So in this regard, Can Alaska is a recommendation in my U308 report. Uh, I wrote that back in the 2006-07 bull market, put it on hiatus until just this past year. And so obviously I'm, I'm looking for uranium to do its thing again. And uh, timing, I think we're, we're, we may not quite be all in agreement, but it's coming. We know it's coming. And uh, I think the place to be is in explorers. Start buying the explorers right now, like a Can Alaska uranium, because the value proposition at what the current share price, 35 cents? That's 35 cents. You know, uh, uh, eight weeks before uh, Fukushima, we were trading at $1.65. Right. Uh, we had 24 million shares issued. Right. We're now only got 27 million share issued, but we're trading at 35 cents. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's way undervalued. Um, I, I love the tight share structure. I love Peter's background. I'd like you to get into that. Explain your background in uranium and uh, how how this, what I see as uh, Cameco, the major in, in the uranium space, having a deal with you. And we'll, we'll get into all that. Explain your background first and then we'll talk more about that. Uh, well, <laughs> Greg, I'm an exploration geologist. I got a master's degree in mining and exploration geology. And I've been uh, working out of Vancouver for the last 35 years. I was running a, a large iron ore mine before that, but I, I do like exploration. 14 years ago, I got uh, very involved in acquiring land in the Athabasca Basin. This is where the, the biggest, richest uranium mines are. Right. And we had no exploration in that area for 25 years. Yeah. Uh, my exploration manager who came and joined me at that time was Dr. Carl Schiemann. Now he is the brains behind this. He yeah. drilled the very first hole in that very first high grade uranium deposit at Cigar Lake. And he ran the, uh, put the geology department together for the French group Arriva right. and ran that for 10 years. We figured that there was likely to be more of these giant deposits, but they hadn't been found because nobody had really looked for 25 years. Right. We had a huge amount of technology available, new airborne surveys, new equipment on the ground. Um, and so we acquired well over two and a half million acres of land. We're one of the largest landholders in the yeah. area. Started to explore that and rapidly found targets. And uh, that's when the, the big overseas groups came in. Mm -hmm. uh, Mitsubishi Corporation came in and put a, in almost $18 million into one of our projects to advance it. And that's the one that I've now got Cameco working on. Right, and that's very attractive to me. I love this project. I love what we're seeing on it. I love the deal. Explain the deal. Well, we have nine projects. This particular one is r roughly 30 by uh, 25 kilometers in size. Big, yeah. So, you know, 20 miles by 10 miles in size. Yeah, and, and on that, we had done enough work to see that there were four big alteration zones that are typical around the big uranium deposits. To get a big deposit, you've got to have a lot of water carrying a lot of uranium. When that happens, you turn a lot of the sand into clay and you can see these halos. Yeah. Well, when Cameco started drilling uh, in late August uh, in 2017, just last year, uh, they targeted one of these zones and they have two discovery holes now. Yeah. Both of those holes have high grade uranium over five meters of the unconformity, but they're just testing a, few, a small part of the target. And so they went back last Thursday and uh, started drilling again. They're, they're going to spend uh, $5 million to get a 30% interest in this project. And then uh, if they like what they say, they will spend another seven and a half million dollars to go to a 60% joint venture with us. Okay. They like what they see, we like what they see. Not only are they hitting uranium in these drill holes, they can see where the target goes to the left and right, north and south. And uh, those 
targets could probably get a lot better. Yeah. You know, we know there's a 30 meter offset at the unconformity, just somewhere about uh, 100 meters behind us. Now that 30 meters is a big offset that has a big area to, that could host a tremendous amount of uranium. And we know projected up above that in the drill holes, there's a lot of uranium. Yeah. Well, and what gets me excited, when I see a share structure this tight with this kind of arrangement, and with this kind of team behind it, that's, that's what we're looking for. That's what gets me excited because, you know, any success, and it's like grease lightning, you know, the share price can really take off. And that's why I'm mostly oriented with the explorers right now on uranium. I think this is where the focus, and I think Can Alaska is a, is a great pick for this. Now, Peter, you did mention to me earlier, you have a plan B. Um, well, what is plan B? Why don't you, let's, uh. <laughs> it's pretty simple for me. Where plan A is work with Cameco to get this thing drilled off, use their money, uh, see if we can make a, a big discovery here like MacArthur River. We're only 10 miles away from their whole infrastructure. Plan B are the nine other targets. We've got nine other properties we've got in the Athabasca. Oh, yeah. And the zinc properties we've got in Manitoba. And the nickel properties that we've got and the copper properties. Because we didn't sit still since Fukushima. Right. We took our time and as geologists put together a portfolio of projects which were unloved. You know, the overtime claims lapse and sure. we watched them and we picked them up. So we now have uh, 40,000 acres of land in the Thompson Nickel Belt oh. that's uh, got high grade sulfide nickel, but they're running 2.2% nickel and 0.2% cobalt. Yeah. An energy metal. We, we need more ways to store this electricity. People want to bring home their Tesla and plug it into their house. Well, that's 400 horsepower being plugged into a 20 horsepower house. Right. Where's the energy coming from? Right. That's my long-term outlook. I look yeah. 10 or 15 years out as an exploration geologist. Oh, that's... In the next three months, we're going to have a 14-year dream realized. Yeah. Cameco is going to drill into this target, and we're really going to see the nuts and bolts of it. I've seen uh, NextGen go from a $25 million company to a multi-billion dollar company, yeah. or $1.2 billion company in three years. Yeah. We're an $8 million company, right. drilling for something that we think will be that style. Cameco yeah. well, certainly is looking for a tier one discovery. These are the types of discoveries that make retail investors like us a lot of money. And uh, that's why you're in my newsletter and you'll continue to be in my newsletter. And we'll keep getting the updates and letting everybody know what's happening. Uh, is there, let, let's do sh um, symbols. Your, your symbols are CVV on the TSX. On the Toronto Exchange, CVV.V. Um, in the US, on the OTC QB, it's CVVUF. Charlie Victor Victor Uranium Fluoride. I always like using that because that's, <laughs> that's the key thing. Yeah. CVVUF. UF, okay, good. And uh, any other last comments you want to bring up? Is there anything else we should let investors know? Well, I, I think we have an excellent structure in Can Alaska for people to make a capital gain in the very short term and then a long term growth. Uh, we have four and a half thousand shareholders, 27 million shares, and at 35 cents. Yeah. However, this time last year, we were trading at a dollar 55. Right. We, we had announced a small uh, diamond exploration project, uh, and uh, that certainly moved our stock. You know what? I only issued three and a half million shares under a dollar 65. Yeah. Well, that's. I love tight share structure companies that are in the field exploring with a big major like this. So I'm really looking forward to what happens in 2018. Excellent. Glad to have you here. Thanks very much, Greg.